Okay, so for this problem, it says that a 20-year bond price to have an annual yield, effective yield of 10% has a McCullough duration 11. They give us all this information and they tell us to calculate uh, the bond's uh, approximate percentage price change using a first order Macaulay approximation. So what is the equation? Well, the equation always involves one plus the old percentage rate over the new percentage rate. So it says that the market yield, create, uh, yield rate increases by 0.25, so it becomes 10.25. So this would be 1 plus 10.25. And the exponent to this fraction is always the Macaulay duration, right? And price is always uh, occurring here. And it says that a 20-year bond price to have an annual effective yield of 10%. So this is the price. Now, but we don't exactly know what the price is, but this is our equation so far for Macaulay's approximation. So we want to calculate the bond's approximate percentage price change using a first order. So uh, let's use this first order approximation. So I'm going to do uh, 1.10 divided by 1.1025 uh, to the 11, and I'm going to get uh, 0.975375 uh, P, right? So supposedly the price, the, the first order McCoy approximation deals with um, how the original price of the bond must be denoted as P, but then after using the first order Macaulay approximation, it is uh, manipulated by solving this and now it's just 0.973575 uh, P. Now we want to find out the approximate uh, percentage price change from the original P to the other P, right? So what we could do is that we could take this amount, 0.975375, right? Um, and then, yeah, this could be represented as P, right? minus the original P, right? So we could do 9, 0.9753575 minus one, which is negative uh, 0 0.0246, right? Which is practically negative 2.47%, uh, right? Why? Because after the approximation, we saw that the um, original price of the bond was thwarted into being a smaller amount by multiplying it by this amount, right? Um, yeah, so since it seems that the price of the bond eventually went down in this case. That's why all the percentages are negative, right? But we want to find out how much it went down by. So that's why we subtract both values. And we end up finding that from the original price of a hypothetical one to this, we subtracted both and we found out that it created a negative 2.47% decrease, which is B.